Hey everybody, welcome back. This is M. Simp with ReasonToWork.com. Today we'll be talking about parallel or New York style compression. Um, I've got a drum loop here. Uh, just a little something that I'm working on. And uh, parallel compression is a technique that I use quite often on my kick drums. Um, it's great on vocals as well. Um, but essentially what you're doing is making a copy of the track that you're wanting to, uh, you know, accent and uh, heavily compressing it and, uh, you know, just kind of adding your effects. So I've got my redrum set up here. Um, today I'll just be focusing on the kick. So what I want to do is uh, create a spider audio merger splitter. Um, my kick drum is ran through channel two of my redrum. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to disconnect both of these. All right. And I'm going to take the outputs into the merger splitter. So nothing's changed here. And then I'm going to run this output of the splitter back into my kick drum mix channel. All right, so same thing, it's gonna play just like normal. Um, from there, then I'm gonna create a new channel, a mix channel for my parallel. All right, second output of the audio splitter to the input of the mix channel. I'm gonna name this parallel comp. Okay, so here's my copy. Um, so when this comes back on, essentially now what you have is two kick drums playing. Uh, the comp should make it extremely loud. So there's the comp, that's with both. So I'm gonna just pull this down to taste. And another thing about parallel compression, there's no right or wrong method as far as what you're looking for. Um, you know, again, I'm a big proponent of, you do what sounds best to your ears. You know, I've been with my ears for 28, 29 years and uh, they haven't failed me yet. So, you know, just everything to taste. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Let's just work on the, the comp. What I'm gonna do is apply the compression pretty high ratio we want the compressor working pretty hard I'm gonna pull the threshold down so every time the kick is playing that compressor is working I'm gonna cut some of the low end frequencies out of this I definitely don't want any clash in here but you can use the invert phase um, button at the top of the channel um, if you need to so what I'm looking for on this kick drum I've got a low end a lot of low end on my original but I need more attack out of this kick drum um, so what I'm gonna do is kind of accent some of the high to mid frequencies um, the low mids give it a little bit more punch a little more slap and uh, hopefully this should blend in pretty well with the other kick drum that I have so All right, there we go. So it's getting pretty close. Make sure we're not clipping. I'm gonna try to avoid that. Maybe add a little reverb for ambience. So there's the original. This is with the comp. You know, very quick, very simple. Kind of got the results that I was looking for pretty quickly. Again, very efficient workflow and reason. You can get through some ideas. You can get through some, uh, some different techniques pretty quickly. And you know, EQ to taste. Again, that's the original. I'm gonna add what I just put on there with the comp. There you go, parallel compression, New York style compression. Done quickly, very efficiently, and, and uh, quite well in reason, if you ask me.